Assalamu alaikum dear students i hope all of you will be fine today we are going to discuss the most important topic of your academic career that is known as lesson planning but before going to start there is written a quotation that if you fail to plan then you plan to fail it is said by harvey mckay as you know that learning is a continuous process and there is always the need of proper planning for it because through learning and teaching we transmit our knowledge and experiences to the young learner so there is always the need of proper planning for that to achieve the desired goal but before going to discuss let us explain what is meant by lesson planning lesson planning is defined as a detailed and systematic description of the academic activity answering the following four areas or questions the four major question concerned with lesson planning are who am i teaching whom am i teaching is concerned with the learners so in this stage you think about the nature of the learners you think about the mental level of the learners you think about individual differences in intelligence quotient or iq level as we know that all the students are not having the same mental power and the same iq and the same uh, personality there is always difference in their social conditions as well as their mental condition some students are very good in one subject but they are not good in the other subject so before going to teach we must focus on this point whom am i teaching means learners that what is the teacher must know about the nature of the learners that how many are highly intelligent how many students are of middle level and how many are of slow learners the second question is what am i teaching this is known as the heart of teaching because every teacher is assigned with a specific subject so the teacher who is going to teach to the students he or she must be the master of his or her subject in he or she must also know the methodologies and the concentration and the trust of the learners to teach then the third question is how will i teach it is known as methodology methodology are known as the eyes of the teaching learning process a very good topic with the help of poor method is always producing zero results but if the methodology is strong and according to the level of the learners learner so there will always be excellent result every subject has always specific methodologies for its teaching the fourth question is the most important one because it is concerned that either all the three questions are answered or not in the fourth question is how will i know if the students understand it means that the teacher will go for the process of assessment to know that the topic which is taught by him to the learners they have learned it or not so it is also concerned with feedback feedback means that in the three stages the teacher was involved with the learners the teacher has taught the material he has used the effective methodology he has focused on the mental level individual differences and iq as well as of the child psychology of the learner now he is going to go for the assessment assessment is of two types one is called formative assessment formative assessment is that type of assessment which the teacher applied during teaching the topic 
For example, I am teaching now, now, for now. So during the teaching process, I will ask questions from the learners and I will go ahead keeping the answers of the student in my mind. In the end, there is summative assessment. Summative assessment is that which is based on taking a written test from the students to understand that how much they have learned the topic. For good lesson plan, it is known as BBS. BBS stands for Blackboard Summary. A, the topic of today's lesson plan is also known as Poor P's lesson plan. Poor P's lesson plan is organized or is developed by Herbert and it is known as Herbertian lesson plan. And it is so compact in its nature that it deals with all the three domains of the learner that is called CAPE. CAPE means cognitive, A means affective, and P means psychomotor. So this lesson plan is so compact in its nature that it deals and assures all the faculties and all the domains of the learner focus. The first P, as you see there is written P1. P1 means preparation. And dear students, you know that a good preparation always lead to successful results. So in P1, we will go by the specification of smart objectives. As you know that in modern time during teaching and learning process the concept of smart objective is introduced this smart is abbreviation where it stands for keep it simple measurable attainable realistic and time bounded then these objectives should always be focused on the domain which is the priority of the teacher to develop. It means that if we are going to teach the topic which is concerned with the development of speaking skill of the learners, so we will plan the lesson in such a style that all the activities will be related towards the development of the speaking skill. Then there should always be written AVS. You know that it is very well said that show me and I shall always remember. AVS means audio visual aids. There should be icebreaker. Icebreaker means that life is not only the name of serious matter. There should be exchange of some humorous anecdotes or communication with the students and the learners to refresh them. And here is an abbreviation that is called VAKT, V-A-K-T. V stands for visual, means that the learner should be provided the chances to develop their visual skill by looking to various things. A stands for auditory. Auditory is concerned with the power of listening. You know that most of the time the teachers are teaching the lesson but the students are having the hearing problems and they are unable to listen to the teacher properly so they are unable to produce the good result. K means kinesthetic. Kinesthetic, it is concerned with the practical performance of the learners. And the last one is tactile. Tactile is the type of learning in which the learner himself performs, for example, role play, debates, whatsoever it is. Then after P1 there is P2. This is the crucial stage of this entire lesson planning that is called presentation. Presentation means introduction to the topic. Introduction to the topic means that the teacher will exchange without writing on the board the topic he will start from general and then he will come or she will come towards the specific topic but 
it should always focus on LSRW. LSRW means that he will focus on listening, he will focus on speaking, he will focus on reading, and at the end he will focus on writing. As we know that these are known as four language skill. Then what part of the grammar will be taught? What kind of vocabulary will be taught? And what pronunciation method will be used for development of the pronunciation? As you know that uh, we are uh, using English as a second language. So in uh, the condition where the speaker of English are not the native uh, learner, we are the native speaker, their pronunciation is very much faulty. So pronunciation focus is always important. Then there is the third one, practice. It means that in this stage the teacher has taught something and now we are going to verify that learning has taken place or not. If it is concerned with ASRW, the teacher will devise or prepare such activities with the help of which he will try to uh, evaluate or to assess that the listening of the student is developed or not. So to check the listening, we will go for the use of spot question. For example, I can ask the student that, okay, student, tell me what was the topic of today's discussion. So if they will give me the answer, it means that their listening is working properly. Then S stands for speaking. Speaking means that the teacher will involve the learners in active conversation. But most of the time, teachers do not appreciate. We should always appreciate the learner if they are even speaking incorrect. Because with influency or in speaking, grammar should not be checked. It is a motivation for the learner that they should be encouraged to speak. Then there is reading. Reading means that the teacher will ask the student to come to the stage and read the passage and he will observe the pronunciation issues and if he is committing a problem so the teacher will write the word and will try to describe that word that its pronunciation is father not father father and PO stands for passive speech Parts of speech means that what type of parts of speech have been taught from now to interjection. And the last one but not the least one is called writing. Writing means that teacher will motivate the student to develop MCQs in the concern lesson, to prepare the answer of the given short questions, as well as going for creative writing. As we know that according to Bloom's taxonomy, the highest level of learning is start creating. It is the highest level and it falls in HOT, high order thinking. And in P4, which is the production, production stage means that in this stage the teacher will go for the feedback. Then how much the students have learned? If there is no feedback, then on the Teaching learning process is just a wastage of time. So in this stage, teacher will go for assessment. For assessment means that he will go for different type of test. That may, may be based on MCQ, that may be based on short question, and that may be based on long question every. But always remember that most of the time, Teachers should go for the development of the creative writing of the learner because short questions or MCQ they are in the domain of remembering, which is the lowest domain of yeah, which is the lowest subclass of learning. And then the teacher will go for homework. Now this is the crucial point that teachers go for homework as punishment. Punishment means that they ask the student that write the story 
for example, write the story 20 times. So it doesn't help the student, it is a punishment. So according to the international researches, a good teacher will always go for the homework in the form of RRQs. RRQ stands for Restricted Response Question. That may include fill in the blanks, column matching, uh, MCQs and short question answer. So I hope that all of you have learned about the lesson plan and in future there will be no problem to you. Thank you.